So for today, we're going to be looking at the weekly reset. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what it is up for the week. So usually we would be looking at challenges eight of one and then Eververse, but challenges end during week 10, if I remember correctly. And we're already at week 14. So be strapped because we're probably going to be here for a while, considering we still have like under 100 days. I, I don't think it's 100 anymore, but it's like 90 something, if I remember correctly. We'll look at it after we look at 801. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first one's going to be Rasmussen. This is a dope shader. That being said, it's not one of my actually before we look at the shader it wasn't even loading anyways let's look at the fit for the video so let's actually look so this is the fit that i have right now if you guys don't know i'm making a tactical set video for the hunter titans and warlocks and we're going to be going through all of the armor sets that i think are really good for tactical sets and yeah this is one of the sets that i made with it it's kind of an old set because the only new thing i added was the dark age cloak but I haven't made this specific look at all, but to be fair, I've used the Diamond Spawn grips with the Deep Explorer vest with the Psionic Stalker stuff in some variation of this. So that's why I'm like, it's newish, but I've used this combo before in just a different thing. So let me know what you guys think for the shaders, it's cryptic continue for everything. Um, I will probably make a video where I showcase <clears throat> an armor set with different shaders and different armor sets because I got someone to ask me if I ever do that. And the answer is yes, my Warlock actually has a build right now that's all everything is different. And I was thinking might as well do a video out of it because I know some people are gonna like it. So that is it for the fit. As for the shader, Rasmussen is where we're gonna be using. And I like Rasmussen. My only thing is I don't like this yellow right here. Notice how all of this looks really, really cool. And then the yellow, like the really bright yellow, it, for me, it just takes me out of it, which is why I don't like this shader, which is why Sato Tribe is the best one because it doesn't have this gross yellow. Uh, for the other shaders, New Pacific Rush. This doesn't look terrible, but I definitely wouldn't wear it for the boots. I think the boots looks pretty terrible on it, but the arms looks pretty decent. Um, also, you should definitely pick this up because this is from Vanilla Destiny 2, which was so long ago at this point. Dead Orbit's Fate. This is another D2 shader, specifically uh, the Dead Orbit one. This is also a really good black and white. So if you are interested, definitely pick it up because I do think it's a pretty cool shader. Like this actually looks pretty cool with it. I just wouldn't wear it because the glow would bother me a lot. So as for the armor set, it's going to be one of the world drop armors. And this one is pretty cool. I specifically really like the Hunter one. The Titan one, I think all the pieces are really cool and the Warlock ones even have like some really cool pieces. So definitely pick up the helmet for the Hunters. The arms are pretty useless. I shouldn't say that. I've used it before. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Boots are real or boot, not the boots. The chest piece is really, really cool. The boots are actually terrible because the bandages on the ankle and I think there's another bandage somewhere does not change color. And I think the cloak is like whatever's to be quite honest. Titans, I think almost everything is really good, good except the chest piece and the mark. The helmet is definitely really cool because the other world drop for that helmet doesn't change color. So this is going to be the one you want for it to change color. And I think the boots and the arms are really, really cool. And then for the warlocks, I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the boots and the arms are pretty plain, but you can definitely use it for like just a regular like tactical look. Uh, and then the bond is like whatever. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801. I definitely would recommend the shaders at least because you might never know when you want to get into the shaders. But the armor set, don't worry. She usually sh sells these as well. As for Eververse, let's actually look how many days we have left in season 97. So like, <laughs> yeah, we still have a long way to go, which is very unfortunate. But for Eververse, we have Princely Presence. That's bright as fuck. We have Spark of Joy. And then Vex Incursion Entrance. Matter Scourge. Not the biggest fan of this ornament, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Disc Jockey. It actually does play music. Pro the reason you probably can't hear it is because uh, I have two games on right now and I probably muted the audio so that way you guys don't hear the other audio. 
uh, what if Monte Carlo so Monte Carlo is new, uh, not new this is an old ornament but it's cool I just think the like deep stone crypt ornament is the best one and I always use that one over like literally almost anything that this one has uh, afterglow uh nemean galley i think this is the one with the lion helm or yeah the lion thing we have a junkyard shell is it shader well it does shader white seems like it shader as well no that's texture okay never mind uh, i was thinking like this right here if this was a texture through the shader or if it was like actual texture within the model so it's probably the model um curtsy pick a card and then for the transmats dreaming shimmer signal processed oh, dominus gall effect sorry i was yawning and then for the shaders empirical imperative definitely get this shader if you want to go for a warm mind slash rasputin look just because it is really good for that or a seraph look like that this shader is going to be it for it just be aware that it, this is better used when it's with plate armor cloth it looks pretty terrible i mean i don't have to explain i think it looks pretty terrible as is but if you use plate armor specifically if you're a titan this shader is going to be really good for you um raven silk this is the one that looks like all fucking mangled yeah this one looks pretty cool i definitely would recommend the shader as well Ooh, heat shielded i don't know this one actually oh oh is this is this one of the ones that you got from like a bundle if that's the case i'd recommend this just because you don't have to pay for it i mean you have to pay bright dust but that's it and then a posimatism i actually don't mind that that actually looks pretty fire Ooh. Hmm, I would get this for sure. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. Like I said, I have another game on right now. Um, so let's talk about Destiny 2 real quick. So I unfortunately am losing more and more faith uh the more time I get to see Destiny 2, just because uh we just got a report that uh Destiny 2, like the pre-orders are really, really low, which doesn't even surprise me at this point. And I think it's got it's getting to a point where i i'm really starting to look at the games that i play because i play a lot of games i'm currently playing a uh, satisfactory just to like really chill and calm my brain down and it's got to the point where okay so let's actually go to my steam so i have like i said i've been planning on making a new series which we essentially look at for example hell divers i think last time it was like 12 hours i put a few more hours into the game I'm thinking about making like a review of it where we go over if it's fashion viable. A uh, spoiler alert, it's not. <sighs> yeah, spoiler alert, uh, spoiler alert, it's not viable for fashion. I will still go through it because I do want to make that video. A, the game's really popular right now. And B, it's going to be a good way to just start. This will be the, the game that I will, that will help me do other fashion because man let me tell you as much as i love destiny 2's fashion and this game in general um it kind of feels like a sinking ship right now and you know what as much praise and as much like thanks i have for this game for giving my channel the lift that i need or the lift that it needed and honestly it really helped me become the content creator that i am today um, I don't want to die with it. Like, it's... <clears throat> I love Destiny 2, but I love gaming more than Destiny 2, if that makes any sense. Like, I've been playing video games since I was a child. And that means something now since I'm 32. <laughs> so, I don't want to die with Destiny 2 and my channel die with it. That's specifically what I mean, because if Destiny dies, that's fine. I have other games I can play. I have other games I can, back, like, fall back on. And specifically... We'll, we're going to be doing that series where if it's fashion viable and <clears throat> there's going to be like three games that I know are going to be fashion viable because I currently play them. Um, one of them is going to be uh, Final Fantasy 14, which is somewhere here. It is somewhere around here. this one. Final Fantasy 14. We have World of Warcraft as well. And then we also have where are you? Warframe, which is definitely, I would say, 
probably the best fashion game if you really want to get into it um yeah i put a few hours into it i have a lot more because i used to play on playstation 4 but yeah warframe final fantasy 14 and world of warcraft and i want to do street fighter 6 because they're they're uh their customization is pretty fun, but the one fighting game that I know I'm going to get into for customizing and shit will be Tekken 8 once I get that game. And then from there, we'll, I, we'll start going through there. Like, I, to the point where I've thought about how much we can really expand on fashion and gaming. Like, there's so many avenues I could really go into. Like, I've also got to the point where I've thought about making some fashion from the video games that we play so like for example like maybe i like one of ken's jackets from street fighter 6 maybe i can either find it or make it myself and then we can actually make it into a fashion where it's actually in real life that'd be pretty cool or we can just do fashion from all walks of the gaming sphere so like for example maybe we can do some cool things with uh where are you i'm trying to see <clears throat> like hell even mass effect has armor sets that we could go and review and just see how it looks but i'm more into fashion being optional and having a wide breadth of accessories and just overall choice warframe is a perfect example of that because this asshole right here has multiple skins not only does he have multiple skins you can change pretty much almost all of his coloring not only that you can also switch his stance not only that there's so many avenues for warframe that realistically i really should be getting into warframe a lot more if i want to expand my horizon i don't want to say abandon destiny 2 yet because you might never know this is not the first time bungie's been in a situation where the game looked like it was gonna be dead like we've had we've been in that situation like three or four times now so i don't want to call it quits now but at the same time it's it would be stupid of me not to have backup plans so expect warframe content like actually this time to the point where i actually have it on my notebook and yeah warframe is going to be one that we're going to be doing because warframe obviously honestly has so much more potential when it comes to fashion and content in general i know that's weird coming from like really old warframe content creators because a lot of the stuff they're doing is just going to be like updating guides and stuff like that but for me i don't i'm not done with everything i still have so much to do which means that a lot of my time will be spent trying to get as much platinum as i can so i can start getting a lot of the fashion in this game which is going to bring a lot of content but also a lot of well content for me and you but then we have like i said hell if i really really wanted to not saying i'm gonna do it but if i really wanted to we could we could go to fallout 4 and go through all of the like fat not fashion but all of the armor uh mods that this game has and we could literally do that and i'd be fucking fine with that um because they have a lot like to the point where i would there'd be so much to do is what i'm trying to say uh, cyberpunk also has a lot of fashion in it as well so it's not like i don't have stuff that i could do i have a lot of stuff that i could do it's just the fact that not only am I comfortable with Destiny 2, I, on, I also know a lot about Destiny 2. I also, I'm just a veteran in this game, so I know what to do, what like what fashion to look for. So it's more of a just starting to do something new with you guys would be really rough because I don't want to come across as someone who doesn't have the knowledge to do it. I don't want to come across as someone who's like arrogant in it because I'm not. I, I'm arrogant in Destiny 2 because I, I'm... I got that privilege of being arrogant, I guess, because I've been playing this game for so long. But when it comes to like Warframe, there's definitely things that I don't know that would be really rough. So enough talking. This is all just to say that Destiny 2 is in a state that I am per personally not really comfortable only covering Destiny 2 anymore, which means we're going to start covering other things. And Helldivers 2 is going to be the first thing we're going to dive into for fashion, kind of. Uh, I will still show off some of the armors that we could get. But I'm definitely not going to be like combining pieces because the only things you can combine are the body pieces and the helmets and the cloaks. And that's not enough variation for me to be like, yo, that looks super cool because it's literally just a helmet and body change, which is nothing. So that's why I'm more of it, more of a like, well, you'll see when I make the video because I will be making the video soon. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.